actresses who are reading for girls. I know. I'm we're all shot in the space. Yeah. I mean, of course, I'm not going to turns out. So what happens in this work, in a strange way, is that a two-dimensional video film becomes a really three-dimensional space. But you walk through, but of course you can't watch in it. So it's hard for you. It's my next one. It's a very interesting space. Yeah, there is a space. Yeah, because they keep, you know what was really good size? We had a little committee meeting with Glenn earlier today, and so that we could talk, we heard, we muted. And after you've been listening to that for so long, you hear, you hear voices at first, you hear multiplicity, the teeth, and then you hear little bits, and then at a certain point, you start realizing that they are all reading the same monologue. And you see the monologue, and it's a very confessional monologue. About the fact that this young girl is realized she's just born precisely because her older brother needs bone marrow transplant. So her parents decided to have a second kid so that he could cure them. I think he's done the same They needed her to donate. So she's questioning why does she exist. So this is a very personal monologue. But what is a personal monologue you're saying? So what you get in that is, you know, actually a kind of good example of how much we all are trying to be individual. We also get very particular, but I think I'm interested here is the first thing is noise, random, chaos. The second thing is you start to pick up on repetitions. And then the curious thing is out of repetition, instead of getting hit with the same, the same, the same, because it's slightly out of sync in time and space, Repetition breeds difference. Repetition ends up breeding multiplicity, and that is strange. We don't think of repetition as an operating So you start to get a curious uh, dimension 